All right, what's up, y'all? So I'm gonna show you guys how to pack um, like a videographer and how I pack for all my trips, for traveling, for business trips when I travel for video, and in this particular case, for New Zealand. I can't carry you, for you. but I can't carry you. Come on! A little heavier on my video equipment this trip since I'm going all the way to New Zealand, I'm packing pretty light. Um, but just bringing the essentials. And so I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm packing for this trip. Um, if you have suggestions or anything at the end or you love this, subscribe. And to let me know in the below what you guys think. Um, so anyways, so first things first, um, this bad boy. So this is uh, the Low Pros bags. I love their stuff. Really awesome. Um, I'll leave, put the link in the description below. But anyways, this bag I've had for like six years. I've traveled everywhere with it. Um, to Peru, to Indonesia, to a lot of different places, and it's always held up. It's been awesome. It's low profile, so it doesn't look like a camera bag. It's got this cool little case in the back, so you can access your camera easily. And since I'm not a billionaire, I just got the one camera I'm filming with right now, this little bad boy, the GH5. So I'll bring that with my 12 to 60 millimeter lens. That's the only lens I'm gonna bring on this trip. So this is where my camera's gonna go, the GH5, and uh, I love the GH5. It's a great travel camera. It's sturdy. It's weatherproof and it's supposed to rain on us a little bit And if it does just in case there's a I have a little weather um, Thing that you just throw over my camera real quick so I can film still in the rain if I want to There's also a casing for the whole backpack to go over so it protects all my gear if I get caught in the rain uh, bad rainstorm and then my road mic's just gonna go right here with two extra batteries I normally bring two chargers so I can charge at least two overnight and that's just that's just how I roll. I don't know. You guys might find it wasteful, but I always like to make sure all my batteries are charged each day. And so that's how I do things. So I put the chargers in like this, and then I got my lens hood, and I'll put that with uh, my little fuzzy dead cat thing for the road mic, and then a nice little microfiber cloth for cleaning my lenses off. The cool thing about this bag. It's got this little thing right here, and this is where I put all my extra SD cards. Since I'm bringing a GoPro and a drone, I'm gonna need a couple extra of those just in case, because sometimes those burn through pretty quick, and an extra case for my SD card. Um, also, gonna bring my like camera strap. I don't normally like to film with that. I got I've never dropped my camera before, so, but I like it for hiking. Um, we're supposed to go, we're hiking Mount Doom, so, you know, might need that so I can keep it out handy and not have to pull it out every five seconds. And this is where I put in my camera and then my road mic right in here. So you can kind of see, there's still more space for if I want to put some other things. So that's that pocket. Next, I just move on to the pockets. So I got this little guy. You guys have probably seen these Joby ones. A lot of vloggers use them. A lot of people like them. Um, I love it for simp the simple fact that it's light, compact tripod. I don't have to bring my big tripod and I can hike with this guy and it doesn't kill me or anything. I just slide it right in this side pocket here. And so that's where this, this one normally goes and lives. I've never had it fall out or anything, so that's great. So you kind of see here. So this is what the inside looks like. We got one pocket here, two little pockets here. And this is when I start packing the stuff that I want close at hand, like my passport, some emergencies, you know, with the plane, with the planes, you never know. And some pocket juice, you know, you gotta keep all your stuff charged at all times. My drone, you kinda see here, so. Um, I have these little cases for my drone, for the remote, and my extra battery. And these little guys are like six or seven bucks or something on Amazon. They're so cheap. And the reason I got them is it just gives your stuff extra security. You know, like I've seen, heard of people just leaving them open, but I don't want to risk breaking a propeller or something from something stupid or sliding the wrong way in a bag. So I just put these in here for a little extra security. And, oh, oh. There it is. So they're great cases. I'll put these in the link in the description below as well. Um, and then I got my extra battery. Sometimes you just put it right here, give a little extra space up top for all my cords. 
And then, so, a drum charger. Um, lastly, this is where my nice little MacBook Pro goes. It's a nice 2013 edition. And I'm not bringing any kind of like hard drives. I know some people like to travel with those to store all their extra footage. I have an external hard drive. It's called the My Cloud Home. And so what's really cool about this is it's an external hard drive, but it operates like through the internet so you can upload files through it. And so that means that means you could upload your files wherever you are in the world. So from New Zealand, uh, like at night, I'm gonna plug in all my stuff to charge it and download all my footage to this external hard drive. We'll see how fast the internet goes. It's probably dependent on the Wi-Fi connection there. But I'm hoping I can upload all my footage to that overnight. That way, you know, if something happens to my SD cards or whatever during the trip, I'm not lost on all my footage. I can still have the footage that I've uploaded. Um, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Give me a little, you know, deuce, a little love. And anyways, that's uh, all I got for you guys. That is this tutorial.